What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Nocturne Rebirth. Holy crap! This is obviously just what I'm doing today. I'm just cranking out some good old Nocturne. Alright. Now I don't know what the next Brave Clear is, so I've been holding off on leveling up. Can you repeat the question? Alright. Chew on him. Screw it. Oh, the light attack. I should have focused on the light attack. Oh, yeah. Alright. Did that get her 100? No. She's not getting those experience points. What? Is it because she's in the back? What? If I gotta put her in the front? Somebody do us a real. What? Oh, I didn't see that. Trust nothing. Shoot everything. This time I'm not holding back. Woo! Come on, you saucy salamander. Where's the things? I guess we're going back to the village of Al. <laughs> Alright, well, you gotta tell me what the next one is. Oh god, I gotta get out of here. Oh god, run away. Who are you? Have we talked to this girl yet? It's been a while since so yeah, uh, Great. All right. Let's see if get. Got the new items yet? New items will be arriving soon. All right. Well, we're gonna give me them. I have two glass ones. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I can't level up till I know my brain clear level. Mr. Roche, tell me about the sword. What? Where's he at? You! Hmm. Reviel and Luna, do you need something from me? 
Well, actually... What's wrong? Why do you look so serious? That sword! Your name is inscribed on it. And it's no use trying to feign ignorance. This was a sword made especially to kill people. And it's something only someone like you could have forged, isn't that right? So this sword was forged by Mr. Roche after all. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> how nostalgic. I wonder how many years it's been. It's just as Mr. Reviel said. This was a top-notch top sword. Were you a well-known blacksmith in the past? Well, I don't know about being well-known or whatnot. But I could certainly say that I had been getting seamlessly in this request to forge swords. That's all in the past, though. Or should I say, the long-distant past. Um, why did you stop forging swords? Well, no matter how one puts his or her feelings into forging a sword or any other weapon, the weapon will only turn out to be a tool capable of murder. That's the inevitable reality. I've pretty much grown sick and tired of forging weapons. But... Isn't the use of a weapon obvious at any rate? A pen is used for writing. A bridge is built for the purpose of crossing rivers, valleys, and the like. Then what about the sword? Is its use complicated in any way? No, not at all. A sword is used to kill enemies. Nothing more, nothing less than that. Yes, you might be right about that. Ah, uh, chaos is thing. But the thing is, an enemy is no doubt living. That enemy breathes and thinks just like you or any other living thing. That enemy has a precious life. How stupid. How utterly stupid. What good does it do to think about life? One who is hesitant on, one who is hesitant on killing an enemy but is, is but a defenseless coward. If one is worried about killing a living thing, he or she can forget about eating. And if one is afraid of stepping on, say an ant, he or she might as well not move at all. Death is everywhere in this world. Every living thing dies sooner or later. It's bound to die. There's definitely no escape from that. So why even be worried about someone dying when death is only the ma is only a matter of time? Mr. Reviel. When I first saw you, I sense a strong will and power in you. But it seems I've overestimated you. What a letdown. Ah, Mr. Reviel! A pin is used for writing. A bridge is built for the purpose of crossing rivers, valleys, and the like. And a sword is used to kill enemies. Then, what about... Mr. Reviel? I don't get it. Huh? By making me stay here. What point are you trying to drive home, really? Well... Uh, Mr. Raviel! I'm busy now. I'll be back at night. Well, that's if everything goes as planned. Oh shit. Fine. Laugh at me all you want. I'm a weak guy, after all. I protected my right arm, but didn't protect my left arm. I stopped forging and tempering swords, yet I couldn't destroy this sword. Everything I did was half-assed. Even I can't believe it myself. But the fact is, I haven't settled everything. Not yet. Two more cores of the barrier to go. Two more dungeons. Oh shit! I'll probably aim to finish this pointless game by tomorrow. Just you wait, we're still. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Which what's the next one? What's the next place we got to go? It's gotta be these two, right? Oh god, which one's... Oh god. Oh god. Alright, one should tell us. Oh 
level 18. Okay, so that's level 18. We've clear level 18. Oh my god, I don't even want to fuck with this area. Alright, 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 get out of here. Alright. So that's cool, you can tackle him in any way you want. Alright, so we know our Brave Clear is level 18, and I will level up in the next episode of Nocturne Rebirth. This is awesome. Uh, they're definitely setting in some story. It's cool that we get to go back to the dungeons. I've wanted to come back to the dungeons and do another Brave Clear. That's what I'm in this for. I'm in for the Brave Clears. But uh, thank you guys. I'll see you when I make another one.